guitar pickers. Welcome to TriadMusicStudio.com. I'm Gene. Today we're going to do a country blues shuffle boogie woogie uh, 12 bar uh, tune and key. E. So let's get started. Okay, so again we're in the key E. We're going to start here with an E5, which is the 6th string open and the 5th string 2nd fret. Now just like if we make a regular E chord, it would only be that note and this note out of the E. Uh, but we're going to play with our first finger. I'm going to play that, uh, just those two strings, string number 6 and 5 only, down up. And then we go to the 6th string 3rd fret, the down stroke, and the 6th string 4th fret with an up stroke. So I'm going to do that, put that all together. There's the E5, down, up, down, up. And then we go to, back to the E5, down, up also, and then down, Downstroke, and we're putting our uh, keeping the E5, but putting our third finger on the fifth string fourth fret with that downstroke, and then lifting it off for an upstroke back to the E5. So, in other words, we're going like this. Let's put this all together, starting with E5. Down, up. Here's a little run. Down, up. E5. Down, up. That's the, the whole little uh, riff uh, thing here that's going on. Uh. Uh, so we're going to count that as one. We're going to do the whole thing here. One. And you need to do that for times. Then we're going to switch to an A. And to do this we're taking everything that we just played and moving it across the neck which is, I know I'm pointing down but it's really up across because I'm going to higher strings. And now we're going to play string number five and four only with this A power chord. It's like making an A chord playing only the open A string and the fourth string second fret with second finger, but we're going to do it with the first. So we're going to play it the same way. We're going to play this A5 down up. Do the little rod here, which is fifth string third fret, fifth string fourth fret, and that was with an down stroke, up stroke, back to the A um, power chord, down, up, and then the finger down, the third finger down, and the fourth string, fourth fret, and then lift it off for the up stroke. I'll put that all together. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. With that A, uh, five uh, shuffle boogie there, uh, and you're going to play that twice. Because remember, you're counting that whole thing there. One. You need to do all of that twice. Then you shift back across the neck to the E, which we did earlier. Remember the E, so we're moving across the neck, which is moving down, even though it looks like we're moving up. But really, we're going to lower strings, so we're moving down across and uh, back to the E, and you do it twice again. That whole thing, you know, with the, the run that goes. That's one, you do that two, two times. Then we need to go to B. So we're gonna make a, a B here, barred at the second fret, and barred here, A form, at the fourth fret. And you do that twice. And you can make this be, it's up to you, 
uh, like I just did, which is really a B slash F sharp because I'm playing the two bass notes here, the fifth string second fret and the, and the sixth string second fret by barring them here, it gives that a heavier sound. Or you don't have to do that, you can play just the fifth string second fret bass note and mute the sixth string second fret with the tip of your finger. Like that. It's a simple B. Listen to two of these. Here's the simple one. Here's with the slash chord. Hear that? It's a little heavier. It's a little bassier, a little darker. But that's up to you. We're gonna play, anyway, which, whichever way you play that B, we're gonna play it twice. It's down, up, down stroke, up stroke, and then we're gonna slide from the fifth string, fourth fret, up to the fifth string, sixth fret. We're picking that one, two. Okay, so it's like a legato. Uh, excuse me, a shift slide because you're picking the first. Uh, note sliding up to the note and then picking it again so it's a shift slide. One, two, down, up as you're sliding and you're shifting across to the fourth string, fourth fret, down, up, also stroke, and then the fourth string, sixth fret, we're picking it once and going right back down two frets of fourth string, fourth fret with an up stroke. So it's like down stroke, up stroke, fourth string, sixth fret, fourth string, fourth fret. So I'm going. That's the B boogie shuffle, that's one. We'll do it again. Well, that's one. That's all you need to do with the B. You're ending right here in this note, and you're going to slide that down two frets, which takes you back to the A5 power chord. Like we did earlier, that A shuffle boogie thing. That too is done once this time. That's all, the A. Then you slide back across to the E that we did earlier, the E5 boogie, and you do that twice. There's your 12 bars. You just put that all together, and you got that little tune. together. There's your 12 bar uh, little country shuffle blues. We'll back out please. Okay, so remember uh, this is a tune, we, we, we did a jam track of it. It's on uh, the website, tribemusicstudio.com website. Uh, uh, go check it out, you know, download it, play jam long, play along with it, E blues scale. Uh, or, you know, picking it out like we're doing. Or you can even strum the chords, and that's, that's the case. Every time the E comes up, you're just strumming an E. I want an A, the A comes up, you hit the A. When the B comes, just strum a B. So you can even strum your chords uh, to, uh, along with it, just practicing the rhythm, uh, besides taking a scale and jamming along with it. Hope you like this. Hope it's fun for you. Uh, I had a blast doing it. So, please come back again. Thanks. Bye.